just wanted to make a special reminder so you guys remember that Scooby-Doo, Jesus, Allah, Satan, Thor, Zeus, Wolverine, Cyclops, all your favorite TV characters are watching. And if you don't fucking act right, they're going to kill you, right? That's the whole moral of the story. So, learn to act right or else Thor and Wolverine and Cyclops and fucking Dr. Mysterious are going to come get you, bro. Fucking, you know what I'm saying? Come get it, bro. Come get it. Fucking Dr. Mysterious right here. Fucking woo, opening the gates and shit. Neo from the Matrix is going to come get your ass, too. So, act right. Always act right, right? Fucking... And, and by acting right, that means not suffocating other motherfuckers with masks for 365 days straight. Because by that time, you're probably not going to be forgiven for fucking how you act. 365 days of fucking being a terrorist and shit, that's more than enough. Well, I'll allow them. Supposedly, even the Arabs don't do that, and we bomb them. Like, supposedly the Arabs are just terrorists two, three days a year. You know, a week a year, two weeks a year, and we just genocide these motherfuckers. Like the Indians, the Native Americans, some of my family, they like came at these people like a couple days a year, uh, trying to get their land back, and they just genocide them. Yeah, goodbye, good night, you're gone. Fucking. So always remember, you know, Allah, Satan, Jesus, Thor, Zeus, uh, Scooby Doo. Gargamel? Who else am I missing? You know, I, don't, I want to be all exclusive here. Uh, Harry Krishna. Krishna. Krishna, the six arm motherfucker. Albert Einstein, Carl Sagan. Uh, Howard Stern. Always do what they say. Weinstein, Epstein. Always do what they say or else, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or else. That's the end of it. Have a good day. Learn to act right. Listen to Epstein's good advice. Always live your life great like that. Always live your life in control of the world like Epstein does and the Rothschilds and all their underlings who are protecting them and have been for thousands of years. Live your life awesome. Uh, Google's great. You know, Google's a subsidiary subsidiary of uh, Rothschild pretty much, along with Amazon and CBS, NBC, ABC, Fox News, and then uh, uh, Time Warner, and then... Uh, BET, BET was now sold off back to these people, just like Disney, just like Lucas, which I don't know who he is, he sold it back to Disney, uh, so BET was sold, like, you know, back to MTV or, or one of these people anyway, so supposedly there was one, so what, Russell running this show, but he needed cash, and, and you know, he probably fucked up, he probably fucked a child, and uh, Epstein got it on video, and so they, made him, they probably forced him to sell BET, Back to the, uh, the the people George Lucas talked about, and which made me think about when George Lucas talked about who the enslavers who uh, bought Disney off him. It makes me wonder, um, like, what did they do? Like, did they have George Lucas on tape fucking little children and shit? It's like, I'd rather George Lucas on tape fucking little children than George Lucas on tape fucking little children and hiding who's blackmailing him with that, right? But he didn't really hide that, right? He, he came out with the video talking about uh, who controls things and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Anyways, you can look that up. Uh, for some reason, it's still online. Still allowed to talk about that. George Lucas is still allowed a voice. I don't know why. They should have poisoned him, right? Like... They should have dropped some cyanide and stuff like the day he said that stuff because that was that was poisonous stuff. Just like Steve Austin, I wonder why Steve Austin is still alive after what he said. Uh, Michael Jackson is no longer alive after what he said, which makes perfect sense, right? Um, the other ones don't make sense when Steve Austin is still alive. Like, what are they like? They have a hard time feeding him poison. It's like the only thing they have to fear about him is physical strength, supposedly. If they don't shift into like a dragon form or something like that, some giant alien form. And, uh, and, and even then, I'm not sure they have to shift to gain that power that they have in those forms, right? So, yeah. Anyways, I always remember, 
Scooby-Doo's watching, dude. And Scooby-Doo doesn't like what Scooby-Doo doesn't like. So Scooby-Doo's going to pass judgment upon you. Scooby-Doo is going to call you evil. When you when you don't like the fucking the the berry flavored Scooby snacks he likes, that's evil, dude. When you don't like the beef, the tuna flavored jerky strips he likes, Scooby Doo likes, it's evil, dude. So always remember, um, don't betray Scooby Doo or Jesus or Allah or Yahweh or Zeus or Thor or Wolverine or Ra or um, who are the Osiris or um, oh, I can't, you know. I mean, most people worship money, right? Don't betray money. How about that? Whatever your God is, don't betray it. So, whatever God you choose to exist is a real one. You know, if you're white, you choose Jesus because that's been forced upon you with the sword. And if you're brown, you choose Allah because they probably forced that upon you with the sword. And then if you're Chinese, you choose atheism because their government probably said, fuck all this other shit. And they weren't going to allow people to force stuff on the sword with you. Maybe, maybe the whole communism thing, though, is... A religion forced upon people so it makes sense Mal looks a little non-Chinese but um you know whoever it is you like the best like you know respect them pay attention to them always do what they say Scooby-Doo says rut row you better fucking rut row and um if you're white Jesus is gonna tell you to I, Jesus is going to tell you a bunch of shit you don't, obviously don't listen to because no one fucking gives a fuck what Jesus says. But they just run lip service for him. At least Allah's students fucking go out there and fucking try to conquer lands for him and shit. And, um, like, that's respectable. Uh, to live up to what the fuck your teachers say. But, you know, uh, the Thor and Zeus people, I don't even know if they exist. Like, they're out there, like, eating plants and you know, sprinkling salt on stuff and saying magic spells. Who knows if that works for them? I, I really doubt it does because they don't even know who the fuck wrote their book. Um, but, yeah, you know. But Scooby-Doo is simple. rut row. Have a Scooby snack every now and then. Enjoy your Scooby snacks. And, um, you know, they say the Satan guy is simple too, but it's like literally like he was designed as like a person who's going to mislead people and kill them all off pretty much. So if you haven't figured that out, like why are you worshiping the book that told you that that's how it's going to happen? So weird like that, right? Never worship the adversary. Lucifer sounds great, but Satan does not because Satan would be the adversary no matter who you are. Even if you're a Satanist, even if you're a Christian, Satan means adversary. If you're a Satanist, you worship. If you're a Luciferian and you worship Satan, you would technically worship the adversary, which would mean at that point you worship Jehovah or Yahweh. It's a word game. Word game's going on in this world. Whatever you say, whatever you think is coming into this world. And if it doesn't work for you, then it's only working for me. And you better fucking realize that it works for some of us. And maybe the more you practice it, the better you get at. But um, I, I, I kind of assume at this point I'm a little arrogant about it because it's like, how could the whole world be bowing down to me if uh, it was like more than me? And it's like, I don't know about that, dude. Sounds like a lot of threats and blackmail from the people who've been manipulating my life for a long time. So when I see things appear before my face, I don't think they're trying to buy me off. I think I've manipulated them into doing that. Um, because any any idiot could see, like, I don't get bought off. So, um, yeah. I will definitely take... I, I tried to deny gifts for a while, but it's just like, whatever, man. Like, this has got to help me out, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I got the Epstein coat, I've seen the Epstein coat is not a gift from Epstein, but a gift from toppling Epstein's empire and weakening its, its dollar value. And so then I go into the store and I can afford to buy it because it's at nothing. So there's a difference. There's a difference here between me accepting gifts from Ep Jeffrey Epstein and me accepting the fact that uh, products from Jeffrey Epstein that have been devalued in price because I just topple his empire. Uh, or at least... The, the name upon his empire, right? Like, his empire so exists. He's just a employee of that system. So, yeah. 
Um, Scooby Snacks for everyone. Peace and love. And if you don't like peace and love, then I don't know who the fuck you are because even the Satanists I know are a bunch of fucking hippies and shit who are like obsessed with peace and love and, and uh, you know, bowing down. I guess not all of them. I, I have one I talked to, but. Anyways, peace and love and Scooby Snacks for everyone. Uh, may peace be with him. Um, what do they say about Zeus and Thor? Like, uh, may your passage to Valhalla be safe. Um, what do they say about Allah? Durka Durka. Durka Durka. And, uh, um, probably in Asia they just say whatever Carl Sagan does or, or uh, Spock from Star Trek does, right? Yeah. Live long and prosper. So, Durka Durka, live long and prosper. Peace be with him. Amon, because it's actually Amon, and you guys just stole Amen from uh, Ra Amon. And then, uh, Scooby Snacks for everyone. Yeah, I want to be all inclusive here. So let me know if I've left you out. And I will definitely make a video if, if your comment ever shows up. If you post a comment on my YouTube channel and it shows up, I probably won't trust you. But um, uh, go ahead and try. And we'll see what YouTube thinks. If, if they like you or not, we'll see if Mark Zuckerberg and pals like you or not. Wachowski, Brandon, Sergey. We'll see if they like you. you go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know which of your belief systems I let out. Because uh, unlike the belief systems themselves, like I feel like you probably have the same rights as everyone else. And those rights are valued at what you allow them to be, which everyone in this world has valued their rights at zero and zilch nothing. Which is odd because the way I see it, Christianity was a, with a pitchfork used to stab government in the stomach and destroy a, an empire. Uh, but these Christians today, they just worship that system. It's like, okay, bro, you keep doing that. You keep doing what they tell you to. See if they don't freaking kill your leaders because some other group of bankers tell them to. See if your leaders aren't working for that system, period. Anyways, you know, peace be with him. And like, there is kind of like no Satan. There is that for Satan. I don't know, but but I looked into stuff like that, and pretty much everything is pre-Christian, Judaic, uh, or Abrahamic, or um, probably Egyptian. That's probably where it all comes from, right? Although, when I work with Egyptian magic, the people who show up look a little bit different than everyone else. There's different groups here and there, but when I work with the Egyptian stuff, there's a different group of people who show up. They look like they've been out in the sun more, like they might have been, you know, living in the Middle East a lot longer than other people. And you can, you can actually see some of these Soros people and Rothschild people, like they've not been under the sun. And supposedly this book says this group of people were slaves, which means they lived under the sun for a long time. So it's odd when I call upon certain people and a certain type of person shows up. Another one never really shows up, to be honest. It's always this other group that shows up. So I always have hope as to what the possibilities of these things mean. But for now, you know, Scooby Snacks are great. Uh, peace be with him. Amon, um, do what thou will, whatever you guys want, like, because to me it's all the same bullshit. So, like, you guys just like, uh, you guys keep believing in whatever you want. Feel good about it. That's important. Right? You feel good about it because I wish I could do that. But, um, you, um, uh, you know, do, do what your supposed creed says. That's the important part. That's why I don't like Christmas, right? Because motherfuckers be like, worship this pagan shit in the name of Jesus. And I'm like, fuck you. It's like, fuck you. Like, I'd rather hang out with Jesus. And, and I'm not even going to do that most days, fucking. Uh, but, like, you're like, like, let's hang out with Jesus in the name of pagan holidays. And Jesus is like, fuck off. And I'm like, with Jesus on that, so... 
Um, you know, I, I see that as bullshit. I mean, that's just all sorts of other worship. Crazy nonsense. It makes no sense. It's like fucking milk carton. You make no sense. What's the answer to the world milk carton? Look, the milk carton's refusing to tell me the answers to the world. I've asked it for everything, dude. 10 grams of protein, is that 